If you've, if you've gotten, gotten this far with our manual, manual for non-violent non -violent struggle, struggle, you can, can be sure that you're nearing the finish line. We already learned all the vitally important elements of non-violent struggle and about the holy trinity of success, namely discipline, unity and planning. But there is one more thing, just as important, needed to guarantee success. It is a crucial but sadly underappreciated point of non-violent struggle. Finish what you start. We know that 42% of non-violent struggles in the last century were successful in achieving democracy. But what happened with the remaining 58%? Or, the question for the next century would be how do we follow up a successful non-violent revolution with a successful transition and make sure that our vision of tomorrow becomes a durable reality? We have witnessed many cases where a massive and powerful non-violent revolution was not followed up by a successful transition and thus ended in conflict, chaos or even worse, a dictatorship. There are five important lessons that some movements had to learn the hard way. Lesson number one, stick to your vision of tomorrow. When you are building and running your movement around values instead of individuals, you are more likely to end up with democracy. Bringing Milosevic down was important in our Serbian struggle, but it is our vision of freedom, democracy and peace that led us through a successful transition once the dictator was gone. Lesson number two, don't call game over too early in the process. Non-violent struggles are very much like video games where each level is followed by a more difficult one. It ain't over till it's over. So, if you declare your movement a success too soon and send your activists home, you might end up in a situation like they have in Egypt right now. After Mubarak fell, activists figured they won, only to watch the Muslim Brotherhood and the powerful military take control of the country. By not anticipating this, activists who were so successful at mobilizing people in the streets of Cairo and unifying them set themselves up for major disappointments. That's why we'd like to remind people that President Kennedy didn't just promise to send astronauts to the moon, he also promised to bring them back. Lesson number three, keep up the unity. Plenty of people have started small, won the big victories, declared success at precisely the right moment, and then watched in horror as everything fell apart before their eyes. Why? because they failed to maintain unity after the victory by abandoning the alliances that helped them to win. Very often it's easier to keep up unity while your opponent is in power because you have this bad guy as your main unifying factor. Look at the Ukraine, where the 2003 success of the Orange Revolution collapsed within months because democratic leaders Yulia Tymoshenko and Viktor Yushchenko who were united in defeating the bad guys were so quick in starting conflict amongst themselves and victory turned into defeat. Lesson number four, don't give too much love to the new elite just because they are new. Democracy movements should keep new elected governments under a watchful eye and maintain public pressure from day one. Just one week after Milosevic stepped down in October 2000, the Serbian protest movement launched the campaign we are watching you, putting immediate pressure on the new democratic government. After all, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Lesson number five, always take into consideration that somebody can take over your revolution. Like in Egypt, where the secular youth, who succeeded in bringing Mubarak down but lacked a plan for transition and called game over too early, pretty soon the Muslim Brotherhood took over. Keep these five lessons in mind if you want to follow successful revolution with a successful transition. Preventing coups, installing a democratic government through free and fair elections, and building durable democratic institutions are much less sexy than confronting an unpopular dictator. Yet successful movements must keep their patience, stamina and focus even when the lights and cameras are gone. <laughs>